okay hi there girls welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel i'm just going to go ahead and do a pick a pile okay we haven't done a pick a pile for a while i'm going to see what's coming towards you guys so i always say to you guys from now pick a number between one and three whichever one stands out the most to you and see what the message is in that pile okay now this is a general message that may not resonate with everyone just take what resonates for you virgos and leave the rest Anybody interested in the personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So again, happy birthday to anyone whose birthday is today, okay? Don't forget to comment down below so that we can wish you a happy birthday. But let's jump into this reading, Virgos. So I am going to timestamp this, okay? So I'm going to say part one, starting about one minute, okay? Spirit, what do we have for pile one? What is coming towards pile one? Come on, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy you did today? Show me. What's the energy for pile one? So part one, the card that is coming out for you is the second chakra, and that is Archangel Ariel. Okay, it is a number 36, which could be significant, or the number 63, but it boils down to a number nine. So this could be talking about here, Virgos, um, that for part one, that there may be something here that is coming towards you that maybe you're going to have to kind of persevere through, okay? It is making me think of the nine of wands, which is that energy of the wounded warrior, which can talk about that maybe, you know, you get to a point where you feel like giving up on something. And because it is the second chakra, this could have to do with um, your creativity, your workspace, and maybe some sort of project or business that you are working on here. Okay. Um, and for some of you, I don't know if there's going to be a, a, a energy coming up for you where you're going to have to kind of be able to express yourself so that energy of speaking up for yourself standing up for yourself standing your ground okay so this also talks about um the energy of pleasure so let's see you may need to use your intuition in a situation as well power one why is the second chakra here for power one what is coming towards them spirit Yeah, I'm seeing the High Priestess and the Magician energy. What's the energy for Pile 1? What is coming towards them? Thank you, Spirit. Do you hope that everybody is well, Virgos? Seven of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Pentacles. And I'm also hearing, be careful of kind of what, what deals you're making at this time, okay? Because the Seven of Pentacles can talk about investments here. Show me more. You have the Four of Cups. What's the Seven of Pentacles? You have the Page of Pentacles. So again, that makes the energy of the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles does talk about your work, like I said, your creativity, your, your skills, things that you have mastered here. Show me more about the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. And what's the Ten of Pentacles? I mean, what's the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, you have the World card and then you have the Nine of Cups. So this could be about you um, producing or putting something online or presenting something to the public here, okay? Someone here may also be thinking about relocating and things like that. Um, someone could be worried about children or maybe someone here needs to put some more like firmer boundaries when it comes to children or maybe a younger energy here around you, Okay. But there may also be something here that you may be hesitating on that is really going to bring in some sort of stability here for you, Pile 1. Yeah, Ace of Coins 
at the bottom of the deck and you have the knight of swords which talks about seizing opportunities here it can also talk about you know following those ambitious thoughts and dreams and things that you have i feel like something may take off this is an energy of being driven to succeed here so what's the four of cups because the four of cups can talk about someone who may be spending too much time in meditation here some of you you may be bored with a certain situation or even a job um that you're at at this moment but the four of cups can also talk about don't miss an opportunity here what's the four of cups the king of pentacles your energy show me more for power one and you have the four card yes yeah, about taking a leap of faith here power one but someone here it feels like is umming and arm umming and ahhing about something Show me more about the fall for part one. Taking a leap of faith here is going to bring someone some sort of happiness. You know, the Nine of Cups talks about luxury. It talks about satisfaction. It talks about being emotionally fulfilled and stable. What's the fall? This is new beginnings, possibilities. This is about being spontaneous. It's that energy of just do it. <laughs> What's the fall? The Ace of Wands, new beginnings. So this could be some sort of confirmation for somebody as well. Yeah, there's that Nine of Wands, what I was talking about here. This may have to do with love. Um, it doesn't have to be. This could have to do with a partnership with the Two of Cups coming out here. But you see, you have the Hangman with the Four of Swords. There's a lot of stalling energy. Now, the hangman can talk about even though you've been enlightened about something, and I always like to see it as well as maybe spirits sending someone some sort of signs and synchronicities here. You know, pay attention to those. It could even be in your dreams with the four of swords. But there's an energy here of someone suffering in silence because they're not happy with a situation. Spirit, what's the advice for part one? justice do the right thing be fair and just to yourself something here could have to do with an empress energy or divine feminine with the empress coming out this is about you knowing um your worth this is about knowing that you are very much abundant here but give me one more what's the advice i feel like something here would be fruitful What is the justice in the Empress? The Four of Wands. Oh, and I was going to say, I don't know if someone here is like wanting to propose to someone, but it doesn't have to be. It can just talk to me about, you know, celebrations, joy, feeling at peace, feeling balanced here, right? This can talk about some sort of a union as well. But again, this is celebrations and especially if it has to do with creativity. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And the Knight of Wands with the judgment. I really feel like when I was saying, you know, that energy with the full where I was hearing, just do it. I really feel like this is about somebody being spontaneous because I feel like something's going to turn out a lot better than you probably thought, power one. So let us get a card from your higher self. What do we have for power one? It's the energy going forward, spirit. What do we have for power one? Okay, it's coming in the reverse. But it says, <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone may need a little bit of Dutch courage or something here. But in the upright, it says pissed as a parrot. Um, it says use your own voice. So what I was saying at the beginning, you know, about standing up for yourself, speaking up for yourself, standing in your truth here. So number 31, which could be significant, or the number 13, but it does boil down to a four. And it's funny how it landed on the four of wands. So we may want to go and visit somebody with this four of wands. It could represent a home. But let's see what it says. Pissed as a parrot. It says, use your own fucking voice. It says, tell them. 
It says, say what you want. It says, voice your own views and benef and beliefs for others to contemplate and argue about. It says, voice what you love. Voice what you hate. Other people's answers are not your responsibility. It says, and you are not yours to take. And are not yours to take to heart. It says, don't fucking take them on it says because they are just voicing their own bullshit it says voice yours too and enjoy the bullshit ride along be like a piss parrot and squawk and squawk about everything add to the conversations around you with your own interests and enjoyments and see how the conversation begins to flow stop letting fear of rejection take over your fucking vocal life just get in there and be a fucking pissed parrot. If you have, if you have to be, at least you get your own bullshit thoughts and ideas into the universe. They belong there, not buried deep inside of you where you can manifest your disease years further on. It says, have your own voice heard. So it says questions to ask yourself. What do I need to say out loud? Who is blocking my voice? Is my fear of rejection preventing me from speaking up and how can I release this fear? So the affirmation says, I give myself permission to let myself, to let myself voice my own beliefs, views and truths. And any and all who will genuinely listen, my voice is important. I am a gifted speaker of my truth. So it just kind of feels like you needing to speak up here, right? It was coming in the reverse. So I don't know if you're around a group of people, family, friends, whatever here, right? and you're just kind of not putting your two cents in, right? It's almost like just going with the flow here. And I feel like spirit is saying, hey, listen, part one, it's time for you to speak up, okay? So let us move to part two. And we are at, I'm going to say 12.20. What do we have for power two, Spirit? What is coming towards power two? What do we have for my Virgos in power two? Do one more shuffle. What do we have for power two spirit? What are we getting stuck on? Second chakra. Same card. Okay. <laughs> Can I have another card for power two? What's the strongest energy for power two spirit? So the card coming out for pile two, you have the temple path and it's a number 12, which could be significant or the number 21, but it does boil down to a three. And for me, it gives me the energy of the three of wands. So this energy of seeing the bigger picture of a situation, you know, the three of wands talks about progression and it talks about planning and expansion. Someone here could be kind of wondering what is the right path for them with the temple path. I really feel like, okay, I was going to say it feels like someone here, it feels like you're on the right path, but maybe you're doubting it. But let's see. What is a temple path for pile two? Coming out sideways is a blockage. You have the justice. So again, maybe someone here questioning what the right thing is to do. Someone here could be thinking about a legal situation. You have the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck with the hierophant. Someone here could be thinking about, hey, should they get a divorce here? Yeah, two of ones trying to make some sort of decision. Someone here in pile two could be tired of some sort of manipulation. But show me more. What is the justice? Seven of pentacles coming out again. You have the strength card. That's the page of cups. Maybe you're kind of wondering if you should accept someone's apology. Page of Cups with the World card. This could be a family member with the Ten of Cups here. 
but the five of swords you see you may feel like someone has already sabotaged this situation five of swords but show me more for power two what is the justice Yeah, four of swords. The four of swords can talk about an energy of suffering in silence or it can talk about laying something to rest. But it does give that energy of someone who is very much in their head here, okay? You could think about this situation a lot when you're on your own or maybe at night time here. But again, this is an energy of planning for the future. So it would say to me that someone is not happy with where they are right now. Show me more. What is the justice and the four of swords? You have the sun card, yeah. What is going to make you happy? What is going to make you feel fulfilled here? Give me one on the sun, because the sun can also talk about exposure or maybe something coming to light. Ten of Pentacles. The sun does represent an energy of rebirth, right? And I feel like, like I was saying here, you know, it kind of feels like any choice that you make for yourself is going to be the right one here. The sun talks about um, everything turning out okay. You know, there are better and brighter days ahead. I don't know why I feel like as well for part two, there may be someone here where maybe you have got to the stage where you're kind of tired of sleeping alone. You know, I also see someone here where the, this could be an energy of, um, how do you say it, like insomnia? Four of Swords, the sun card, seeing the sun rise, having difficulty sleeping during the night, right? What's this Seven of Pentacles for Power 2? The Three of Pentacles, so that makes the Ten of Pentacles again anyway, and we saw the Ten of Pentacles come out here. What's the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles? The Five of Pentacles. See, this could have something to do with um, people that maybe you collaborate with here, okay? Um, the Three of Pentacles does talk about teamwork. It does talk about, you know, maybe someone here wanting to feel secure in something. But then you have the Five of Pentacles, which is an energy of feeling left out in the cold. Pile two, someone here could be worried about their finances. Maybe someone here is thinking of a way how to improve that. I'm hearing also something about someone getting a second job. Six of Pentacles and the Hermit. Yeah, how can I bring in more? How can I increase something? What's this strength card for part two? Too many cards. Someone may need to get some sort of legal advice. What's the strength card? The two of swords. Part two, there's a strong energy here of staying strong and staying um, focused here, right? And, and that energy again of not giving up here. Because the two of swords can talk about someone may feel like they're in an impossible position. Two of swords can talk about someone, you know, maybe struggling to see the wood through the trees kind of energy, right? Struggling to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There's something here that someone needs to deal with as well that they're just not doing. What's the two of swords? Landed on the four of swords. Yeah, the eight of swords. Some sort of a mental prison here. And the eight of swords with the two of swords that makes the ten of swords energy. And the ten of swords can talk about an energy of burnt out or energy of um, betrayal or backstabbing here. What's the two of swords with the eight of swords? It's also a negative mindset. So someone needs to raise their vibrations here. So eight of swords with the two of swords. Thank you, spirit. The Queen of Cups, yeah, maybe someone here needs to come out of their emotions. Someone could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. What's the Queen of Cups? For Pile 2, the Seven of Wands, standing your ground, not giving up. Facing whatever this challenge is, head on. Finding a solution to the problem. Give me a card from their higher self for Pile 2. Yeah, bottom of the deck, you have, um, use your inner guidance. You know, it's that energy where it says their choice, your choice. Somebody worried about another person or what another person would think. 
But let's see. Give me a card from their higher self for pile two. Thank you, spirit. You have someone could be dealing with a narcissist. You got the grumpy wizard at the bottom of the deck. I don't see any cards out here representing any kind of spell work. So, you know, like I said, it could be some sort of manipulation. Maybe you're afraid of someone's temper or how they would react. Because it says release your anger safely. But the card you have coming out is a number 29, which could be significant. Or the number 92. Someone could have been born in 92. But it does boil down to an 11. And the 11 is actually giving me the energy of the two of wands. So again, this energy of needing to make a choice. It says narcissistic nymph. It says take back your own power. So it says stop giving away your power. Stop giving away all of your hard work all of your brilliant ideas to anyone else, especially that narcissistic bastard. Oops. It says who just takes you for granted and blames everything, everything on everyone else. Return all their bullshit to sender. See, I did say something. I don't know if this is about some sort of spell work here, okay? But it says return all their bullshit to sender right back to them. Stop letting them suck you dry and make you feel like crap. Okay, it says protect and shield yourself and stand strong in your own inner self. It says you are better than them. Stop looking for recognition, acceptance and love from others. You will only be truly fulfilled and happy when you accept and acknowledge all of your powers and use them for your own benefit. Love who you are totally inside and out. Forgive yourself for letting others use your power and their benefits. Take it back now. It says break the patterns of giving it away to them and let yourself be happy again. So it says questions to ask yourself. Who am I giving my power away to? What patterns can I break to keep me in my own energy? What protection and shielding techniques do I need to bring into my daily routines? The affirmation says... I choose to reclaim and return to myself any and all of my power that was taken away, given away or lost. I am now loved, healed and rejuvenated in pure source energy. I am restored, fixed and repaired and powerful in my own divine energy. Okay, part two. So I hope something resonated there for you. So let us move on to pile three. Now, for those of you that know, that have been watching me for a while, I, anytime I do a pick a pile, I always choose pile three. So I'm interested to see what comes out. So where are we? 2312. So what do we have for pile three, Spirit? What is coming towards pile three? <laughs> Oh, I see the world and I see envy. <laughs> so I don't know if some of you do something online. Okay. Could be something that you're passionate about with a lady holding a heart. Got door to spirit and contract. Okay, what is this? Appreciation. Okay. So what is coming towards pile three? Healer of the ages. <laughs> and I was going to say it, but <laughs> because I just literally said, hey, I, I'm choosing power free. I didn't want anybody to say, oh, you're just saying that because you chose power free. But whatever. I did see the six of wands and I was hearing the word recognition. Okay. So this is a number 51, which could be significant or the number 15, but it does boil down to a six, which would give me the six of wands. So that does talk about public recognition. Um, it talks about success and victory. Okay. So it's about being praised. Now, some of you may be healers here. The energy, um, fire energy could be significant. You may have that highly aspected in your chart, pile three. But this makes me think of almost like 
almost like the Hierophant, some sort of leadership role. You see that kind of glow around this masculine energy here. And you see it, you see it around his heart as well. Healer of the ages. Okay. Show me more. I really wish I'd have got a little book um, with this deck. Just so I could look a little bit more into it. Now, this could be a time as well, pile three, where maybe you're going to be pouring into yourself. Maybe there's some sort of changes that you're going to be making with yourself and your life here. All right. You may be dropping any kind of burdens with the Ten of Wands and moving forward with the Chariot. Maybe you're in that energy of just following kind of like divine guidance here. But show me more. What's the energy for pile three? Coming out sideways is a blockage. You have the Page of Swords. So it looks like for some of you, um, power free, right? It's either there's an energy here where you're still going to have kind of people watching you, um, people that maybe that you have moved forward from, leaving behind here. For some of you, this is also giving me, though, with the Page of Swords, right? That you may have some sort of blockages when it comes to new ideas or things like that. This could also be some sort of delay when it comes to communication. Show me more. For power free. What's the energy here, spirit? Yeah, the five of swords. You see, there's an energy here of um, people maybe feeling defeated. This could be some sort of energy of some sort of bullying here um with the five of swords right this can talk about an energy of competition people competing with you but show me more what's the energy for power three but this does make the six of swords so there is that energy of you moving to calmer waters here okay i just feel like you may have some people that is going to try and make it difficult for you pile three Landing on the Page of Swords, you have a Queen of Wands energy. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or like I said, these are people um, who are watching you in this Queen of Wands energy where I was saying here, you may have Fire highly aspected in your chart. These are people that may be seeing you um, in an energy of being confident, courageous, right? Not underestimating yourself. The Queen of Wands is a go-getter, right? She's very motivated. I always say that it's that energy where she has a zest for life, right? Very passionate about the things that she does. What's the Page of Swords for Pile 3? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. You have the Nine of Swords coming out here and you have the King of Pentacles. So it's either these people who have betrayed you, Nine of Swords, and the Page of Swords makes the Ten of Swords. Or you have someone here who's very worried, right? You could be dealing with another Earth sign. Okay. Doesn't have to be. Um, the King of Pentacles could be representing you, whether you are male or female, right? The King of Pentacles is in the upright and it talks about someone who is wealthy or someone who owns their own business or someone who is financially stable or that is where you are heading. Who is this King of Pentacles? Who is this King of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. So some of you, you may be single, independent, self-sufficient. This could be someone you work with. What's the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles? Four of Wands in the reverse landed on the Five of Swords. And then you have the Five of Pentacles. This could be someone who you've left out in the cold or the people that are watching you are people who are in situations where they're not happy, they're not stable, they may feel like they have made mistakes, right? This could be someone who is married, doesn't have to be. But this in the reverse talks about conflict. Hmm. Yeah, for others of you, I really feel like you may have had people that are trying to attack you because it also talks about a breakdown in communication where I was saying that Page of Swords came out sideways. So again, if you feel like you've had some sort of blockages, um, maybe when it comes to your third eye or again, it could just be people that you have cut off and you don't communicate with anymore. What's the Five of Swords? I feel like with this energy here, Virgos, right, it's, it's about you just keep putting your head down. Yeah, keep speaking your truth with the Ace of Swords. You got the eight of cups, the lovers, and the star cards. Yeah, these are people that you turned your back on. So, what is the five of swords? What is the five of swords for pile three? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I'm hearing that song again. <laughs> 
Pile three, you may definitely have some sort of haters. Give me a card, spirit. Because I'm hearing that bit in the song where she keeps... I don't know if someone's screaming or... But it, I'm hearing that bit when she says, I hate you so much right now. What is that energy, spirit? Seventh chakra, Archangel Ariel. And this is a number 41, which could be significant. Okay. Or the number 14, but it does boil down to a five. And the five, to me, the five of wands energy, it, it talks about, you know, um, conflict, drama, chaos, arguments, egos, competition. Seven chakra, yeah, there may be something here about your crown, right? Because you're coming across as not stressed and, you know, this talks about anxiety and things like that. Maybe you're just coming across as very balanced here. But the five of swords is the ace of wands. Show me more. Yeah, I feel like someone trying to attack your creativity. Again, this energy of people upset because you're having some sort of new beginning. This is new projects. This is um, willpower. This is action. This is new beginnings. This is opportunities. This talks about growth. Knight of wands. Something here could be moving really fast. You may be dealing with a younger fire sign. What is the knight of wands? This is you being spontaneous as well. What is the Knight of Wands? It's the Nine of Wands, and that makes the Ten of Wands energy. Mm. This just shows me an energy of not giving up. Yeah. Nine of Wands does talk about energy where maybe you get to a point where you just feel like, hey, listen, I'm going to give up here. But don't you ever give up, Virgos. This is a test of fate. Test of faith. What's this Queen of Wands energy? A lot of wands out here. The Death card. Scorpio energy. This is you having some sort of a rebirth, right? Again, the energy of shutting old doors and opening new ones. The Death card talks about transformation. The end of a cycle. It talks about you transitioning into a new cycle in your life, a new space, right? Show me more about the Queen of Wands and the Death for power free, thank you, spirit. Yeah, eight of wands. Moving forward. Some of you could even be traveling. And the ten of wands. What's the ten of wands? What's the ten of wands? Coming out sideways is a blockage, two of pentacles. I feel like these are people that want to keep you stuck. They want to make things difficult for you. They want to cause some sort of confusion here and illusion. And I really think it has a lot to do with your intuition. If you know that you are someone who is highly intuitive, you know, you have people around you who are questioning and how do you know certain things about them? You could even know things about people that they have things they have done in their past, things that are low vibrational, toxic, or these are just toxic people from your past, people that are obsessed with you. So let's get a card from your higher self. What do we have for power free? Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for power three? You have double pronged, what is that, enchant, what? <laughs> it says lighting up. I was. I got confused there when I saw the word penis. I was like, huh? <laughs> double pronged enchant penis? Oh, it says lighting up. Okay, so let's see what it says inside. It says, get that stick out of your ass and <laughs> loosen up. <laughs> okay, Palfrey. It says, get that stick out of your ass and loosen up. It says, baby. It says, go have... Okay, I'm, can I get another card? It says, go have an orgasm and let the love energy flow through your body to release the fucking tense world shit that is around you right now. Oh, Lord.
<laughs> let me just pre uh, let me just proofread it real quick. This is like a hedgehog. I don't know what that enchan enchan thing is. Reminds me of like a is it like a porcupine thing? It says, this love and enchandina comes to you to remind you that you deserve to be loved, especially by yourself. It says, seek the self-love and relish it. You deserve all of the good stuff in life. Stop sticking your nose up at it all. It says, ground yourself and get back into being just as happy as you are. It says, you are snooty nosed and not letting yourself see the joy around you. It says you are keeping yourself enclosed from those around you and acting like the stuck up asshole <laughs> you surround yourself with. <laughs> it says stop acting like them. It says get back to being you and being being you and being by enjoying your own luscious body again. It says release the tightness in your soul and body and just begin to flow with the orgasm of joy running through the divine love of the universe it says release is fucking awesome so do it loosen up now damn Virgos. i mean i don't know if this is direct to you or this is directed to the people that are around you <laughs> so it says how can i make myself feel lighter who or what is dragging me down and lowering my vibration mm. see this could be a projection on you it says, how can I get in touch with my sensual side? It says, I choose to connect myself to pure love source energy in order to recharge my vibration and lighten my soul. I am light. I am love. I am light. I am love. I am light. I am love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Paul Free. I don't know. Well, that's what I have for you. So, guys, I do hope that something has resonated for you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.